Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let's look at this problem. The line x by a plus y by b equal to 1 moves in such a way that 1 by a square plus 1 by b square equal to 1 by c square where c is a constant. The locus of the foot of the perpendicular from the origin on this given line is x square plus y square equal to c square. We have to show that it is equal to it is x square plus y square equal to c square. So let's understand that the line x by a plus y by b equal to 1. This is the line x by a plus y by b equal to 1. In such it moves in such a way that 1 by a square plus 1 by b square is 1 by c square. We have to find out the locus of foot of perpendicular. What's the meaning of foot of perpendicular? From origin, I have to draw a line perpendicular to the given line. So, we know the equation of the line. We have to find out the equation of OP. Once we find out the equation of OP, the point of intersection is nothing but P, H, K. But we will try to find it out in terms of A and B. Then we will find the locus of the point P. So, that is how we have to solve the problem. So, since we know the equation of A, B, can we go ahead and try, try to find out the equation of OP now? Equation of A, B is x by A plus y by B equal to 1. So, let us write down that. Equation of A, B is x by A plus y by B equal to 1. Can I write it as bx plus ay is equal to ab? Now, what is op? We know that op is perpendicular to ab, and we also know p is nothing but foot of the perpendicular. So, op is perpendicular to ab. So, how will be equation of op? Op equation will be the line ab, the quotients will switch. So, b will become a and a will become b the sign will change plus k equal to 0 but op is also passing through 0 comma 0 by substituting you get 0 minus 0 plus k equal to 0 that means k equal to 0 that tells me that the equation of op is ax minus by equal to 0 this is our second equation this is our first equation. We solve these two and try to find out the A and B values. Then we will transform them in with respect to H and K. Then it will become X and Y. So, let us go to the next step. We have BX plus AY equal to AB and AX minus BY equal to 0. So, let us try to eliminate. So, can I multiply with B? So, that B square X plus ABY is equal to a b square and then multiply with a here a square x minus a b y is equal to 0. Now, can I simplify that? I see these two will cancel. I have x into a square plus b square is equal to a b square or can I say x equal to a b square by a square plus b square. Once we know x value, we can easily find out y value because we know ax equal to by, y equal to ax divided by b, that is nothing but a by b into a b square divided by a square plus b square. We can cancel 1b, that will become a square b divided by a square plus b square. So, we have now x values and y values. We have x and y values, nothing but we have now the foot of perpendicular coordinates in terms of A and B. So, what we got that as nothing but we will write down here P we got also equal to x is A B square divided by A square plus B square and the other one is a square b divided by a b square a square plus b square let me write down that a square b a square b divided by a square plus b square a square b divided by a square plus b square 
so we have both of them now now we have to see it's done we are almost done only the thing we have to see now how to put how to convert this eliminate a and b and try to get it in terms of h and k so the next step will be we know that h equal to a b square divided by a square plus b square we also know k equal to a square b divided by a square plus b square now i can write this as h equal to a b into a and i can write it as k b k equal to a b into a so now i see that if i square them and add them then i should be able to cancel the denominator part of the denominator so shall i write down h square plus k square h square plus k square is equal to a square b to the power of 4 by a square plus b square whole square plus a power 4 b square divided by a square plus b square whole square can i write it as a square b square into a square plus b square divided by a square plus b square whole square which is equal to a square b square divided by a square plus b square which is nothing but equal to if you see that's equal to c square because we have 1 by a square plus 1 by b square equal to c square now you take lcm and reverse it you get a square b square by a square plus b square is c square or you want i can do that here we can do that part here we can write down 1 by a square plus 1 by b square equal to 1 by c square or a square plus b square by a square b square equal to 1 by c square now you reverse it you get from here c square is equal to a square b square by a square plus b square so once we got that we are done now we got h square plus k square equal to c square now but we know that when we go for locus h will become x x square k will become y x square plus y square equal to c square so that's the locus of foot of perpendicular from origin to the given line x by a plus y by b equal to 1 so let's understand what we have done here we have been given a line x by a plus y by b equal to 1 so we have been asked to find out the locus of foot of perpendicular foot of perpendicular is p we have to find out the locus so as usual our logic is always to go with a comma b try to get to the point of intersection in terms of a and b then you find the relation between these two so that we can replace them with h and k so we found out h is this and a equal to this we know that when we square it up we can we can get it in terms of c that is nothing but c square so h square plus k square is c square now the locus is x square plus y square equal to c square so that's one interesting example from ncrt exemplar 11th grade so which i thought of sharing with you thanks for your time and support keep smiling and sharing bye for now